Greetings, my name is Timothy Harris. Uh, thank you. I have my PhD in Christian counseling, um, also my bachelor's in business. Um, I have written several books, one including uh, the Harris Study Bible, which was 20 years of work. It's 20, over 2,200 pages. So it was a lot of work. Um, besides that, I'm also in the supply chain business. I have been to Hong Kong, Mexico. I've set up businesses in China, uh, as well as Europe and throughout the US and Canada as well. Um, so we have supply chains across the world. In addition to that, I'm also a musician. Uh, I've ministered music at my church for over 20 years. Um, and then I have a wife, three kids, and a puppy named Coco. <laughs> We, we love Coco. <laughs> um, but we're talking about it takes a village today. And one of the big buzzwords that are, are around right now is called legacy. Everyone's thinking about their legacy, what they're leaving behind. Uh, a lot of that for people means their reputation. What are they going to you know, leave on their grand tombstone for, for so many better words of uh, their reputation for their family? And then also, when it comes to money and success, what is their legacy? And some people have used that as an uh, excuse to be selfish and, and just self-motivated. But when we're talking about it takes a village, you have to think broader than just your own legacy. Um, in doing so, I look at legacy as the seeds that you leave. And uh, for us, the seeds come from the fruit. Fruit is what you produce. It's what you do with your life. Uh, and how you start, your origin, are the roots that you have. Uh, for me and my family, and I'm going to go back uh, a little bit, but my great-grandfather uh, didn't do a good job leaving a good legacy and giving my grandfather good roots to go by. Um, he was known for being mean. Uh, he was a killer. He was a convicted felon. Uh, for my family, he left my family, abandoned them. And so my grandfather, uh, after graduating from the eighth grade, had to work two jobs. Um, he started out as a janitor and as a cook. Uh, he worked so hard, and, and his bosses saw how hard that he worked that they mentored him. And he actually became the chief dietitian, and he became the chief x-ray technician. Um, at the hospital, still working two jobs though, and barely making ends meet. And so the legacy that he, he left was one of hard work. And, and so my father took that and worked hard as well, but didn't still, uh, we were still on the other side of the tracks per se. But people mentored my father as well. Uh, they, they they decided that he should go into chemical engineering. Some people gave him investment. Uh, some people mentored him in, in the business world and helped him to become one of the most successful uh, black entrepreneurs in the US. Uh, we're in the top 30 of uh, US black owned companies. And so you go from somebody who's in jail somebody who abandons their family to somebody who can work hard and turn around and actually make good fruit for their family. And then you go from me, I have it a little bit easier in life because of the history that my grandfather and my father has left. And so it is my turn to not only uh, bask in their success, but also help other people be successful. And so I do help mentor other companies. I, I help uh, bring on non-for-profits that need help. But I, I realized that uh, just through my history, that bad roots doesn't mean that you cannot produce good fruit. It doesn't mean that we should give up on people. It doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that you can't accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish. And so we have, uh, just in my history, I appreciate um, what you have to go through to change where you have come from. And not just by our own merit, but in, even in my life, being an author, um, there was an entrepreneur here who has a printing company who took me in the back of his company 
and told his graphic designers to show me how to make books in a way that's printable. Um, and so, you know, I realized that it's, all success is not just based on your own merit or just based on your own roots, that you can change what you produce even though you may have bad roots. And so um, I think about Dr. King. Dr. King was one who wanted us all to make it to the promised land. His promised land was one of equality, uh, social justice, and um, equal rights to uh, a wealth. And so just because we're there and I'm there doesn't mean we shouldn't stay and get somebody else into that promised land and help all of us make it. And so in the words of the wisest person I know, to whom much is given, much is required. And as you get more, make sure you require yourself to give more. My name is Tim Harrison. That's my TED Talk. Thank you.